Roger, right, takeoff clearance has been obtained. Let's have the takeoff checks, please. Ground idle. Set. The mention of the mini cockpit this week stormed away in minutes with their Kickstarter. What's new in the world of flight simming? From Parallel 42 to the Super Viking to avionic updates, we have plenty more ground to cover today and thanks for tuning in. I'm Chick Manglaw. Ladies and gentlemen, another day to bring in more towards the line of development, marketplace, events and freeware. If this is your first visit, hit that subscribe button for future releases. The mention of the mini cockpit in the beginning of the video was something of interest in the line of hardware. Now the Kickstarter campaign for $99 for the first thousand units began and was out of the first batch of units within no time. Less than 5 minutes is all it took, raising almost $300,000 for the team's project. Now this is first among some interesting projects that have been planned on the series of Airbus modules and the planned roadmap would bring us the mini EFIs and mini ECAM. Do check the link for more details that can be found in the description below. Moving to some exciting things would be particularly towards the PMDG line of aircraft arriving at the Xbox variant. That's right, I'm quite pleased to see this actually and one fleet of aircraft prepared by some great minds. Now the plan is to offer at the same price at $70 for either the 700 or the 800 variant. What's more interesting is to realize the team are still giving us the airliner on a console version given the limitations at the sim. Modeling, texturing and sounds are seen as some of the best on PC. So to have this on a console sets a new bar. Moving to another team who've been usually the bush flying enthusiasts, now Parallel 42 gives us the next installment from the team and this time engaging with another scene. A farm strip actually at Paynes Creek, California. The focus is on the experience at the site with plenty of hazards nearby, custom 3D ground assets, animals roaming plus amenities around the area. Now what exactly is different on this package is the way the devs have worked on the scenery. More details if you take a closer look. Objects that are related to the environment. You see animals here which are animated. Every detail seems to be well done and hoping to see more interesting sceneries on the same line from this gang. Now moving to the airliner class, the newest update from the team show us that they've been working hard on something that will please a lot of simmers. We're talking about the EFP project from Salty Simulations. The iPad looking tablet looks like it'll come with a number of features and functionality when it's released. Few images that are released indicate that Navigraph charts will be much part of the functionality of the tablet, enabling you to see approach, departure and other charts directly in the sim. At the same time, it does give an idea on what you'll be able to access, which includes a host of other apps, but it's not super clear on what they all will be. We'll keep an eye on the progress of this item as there's more to follow on the release date for the EFB. Before we move further, now Flight Sim Expo is approaching closer than we thought. Less than a month for the event and this would be the right place to gather some information on what's coming next towards flight simming. Exciting partners, exhibitors, real world aviators across the world. You can meet folks from Honeycomb, Orbex, Thrustmaster, all the cream of the crowd at studios and you get to connect with simmers and experts of flight simming society, hoping to network with like-minded people like us. Bendix King KLN-90B A GPS-based navigation system that provides pilots with accurate positioning, navigation and flight planning capabilities. Now this has been a new addition to the sim. It features a database of waypoints, airways and airports, allowing pilots to input their flight plans and follow them accurately. This offers various modes of navigation including GPS, RNAV and VOR navigation. Now the community can experience the classic feel and functionality of the Bendix King and thanks to that new mod that allows aircraft developers to integrate this unit on their airplanes. We mentioned Super Viking in the beginning of the video. These add-ons aim to recreate aircraft's visual and functional aspects, providing users with an immersive experience of flying the Super Viking in the virtual world. Now the Belanca Super Viking, 
a popular single-engine, high-performance aircraft that's known for its sleek design and impressive performance characteristics. A four-seater, low-wing aircraft that's been favored by many pilots for its speed, range and versatility. Now, after months of anticipation, there have been some interesting projects from the same team who brought us the Passport Skylark, Lear Avia Lear Fan 2100 and the Bucker BU-131. Now, this beloved high-performance American aircraft is now available at the marketplace and has been planned as a PC release for now and hopefully see an Xbox release soon. Ground level speaking, the airport featured today from the team of FSIM Studios and Texan Simulations. Now, Houston's first commercial airport, sometimes referred to as Hobby or Houston Hobby. This is currently a significant hub for budget airliners such as Southwest. Only seven miles from downtown Houston received a five-star rating from Skytrax in 2022. And this makes it the first airport in North America to achieve that. Now the scenery features 50 hand model buildings equipped with PBR textures, custom animated jetways, accurate handmade taxi signs, HD custom orthographic imagery and more. Now in addition, the team have made sure that the scenery stays relevant, meaning it reflects the current construction plans, including the removal of a runway. And one thing to note is that Houston Hobby Airport would be the avenue for flight sim expo this year and definitely something exciting to look forward to. The link to this beautiful airport can be found right here in the description below. In the world of development, another build arrives with patch 1.33.6.0. The third patch addressing few more items off the list. Now there have been even more added functionalities to the Dreamliner and the 747 including heat blur, a much needed visual element, VNAV, system updates, autopilot plus varieties of bug fixes including areas of performance, stability, cockpit areas and more. Now the goal is to improve visual fidelity, flight dynamics and systems modeling on the whole. In terms of avionics, we plan to see some significant updates this time to deliver a much more realistic and functional cockpit experience. Now, the whole goal is to see that the devs have focused on enhancing the accuracy and functionality of avionic displays, autopilot systems, and communication systems. On events, now this week, another community event from CD with his gang. Plus, I'll be part of this exciting MacLoop event. It's time to get your F-16s roaring on your hangars or your F-35, Hawk T-1 or any similar jet to be part of this event. Now June 1st is the birthday of Sir Frank Whittle too, the aeronautical engineer who invented the jet engine. Now the jet is arguably the most important innovation in the field of aeronautics since the Wright brothers first flight in 1903. The plan is to depart from EGGW onward for a touch and go in between, fly through the famous Mark Loop and get to meet some cool folks. So mark your calendars as the event is tomorrow. Plus, join our Discord server for up-to-date news and plenty of events. On freeware this week, an airport that appears to be simple but rather holds a lot more detail to it. The Monument Valley Airport, UT25 in short. The approach cockpit views are stunning. It's only an airstrip in the iconic Monument Valley, Utah. V. Basilio has developed this airport. We have showcased a few of his other interesting sceneries here, by the way. A brand new airport, by the way, released on the 26th of this month with almost a thousand downloads. The link to both the freeware and the community events can be found right here in the description below. As always, do subscribe for more, and it's been a true pleasure. Until next time, do take care and happy flying.